My name is uh, Ivan Nanchev. I'm a specialist in internal medicine. I work as a family doctor in Germany. It's about 35 miles south of uh, Munich. And uh, yeah, I'm turned 50 last year and I had some medical issues, lower back pain, knee pain, uh, shoulder pain, something that uh, very many people in my age have and so I decided I have to do something and uh, my elder son Nikolai he is a s alpine ski trainer he told me to start with uh, strength training with uh, barbell exercises and I said oh, come on I'm too old for that uh, I have broken knees I have um, back pain why should I start uh, um, lifting heavy weights and uh, for Christmas, I got uh, um, the Bible prescription, the book, um, as a Christmas present, and uh, I started reading it. And um, after a while, I figured out, oh, this book is written by a colleague of mine, uh, a doctor, and that caught my attention. And uh, yeah, that's how I came to uh, lifting barbells. And so uh, one day I started, it was about a year, a year and a half ago, I started with uh, 60, 70 pounds uh, squatting and uh, pressing the, the naked bar, uh, 20 kilograms as we are used to uh, in, in Europe, we have the metric system and uh, deadlifting uh, 135. Immediately after the first uh, workout, uh, yeah, I felt, yeah, I felt a kind of soreness. But it wasn't the soreness that uh, you uh, you feel when you go for a long jog or for or when you r ride a bike for two or three hours. I slept very well, and uh, so I decided I will continue. The back pain disappeared. I didn't have any knee pain. For the first time in my life, I was able not only to climb up the mountains, but also to climb them down again without a knee pain. Then I realized that barbell training would be perfect also not only for me, but also for my patients. And that, then it started to get interesting. I figured out if barbell training would be a way for my patients, I would have to figure it out for myself. So I decided I would be patient number one. I would be my first patient and see what happens to me, what happens to my, to my physics. And um, yeah, what fascinates me or what fascinated me about, about the, um, the basic barbell lifts and about the starting strength method is that it's yeah it's quite similar to 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 medication to the prescriptions we give as as, as doctors you know we have you can you can prescribe it with the correct doses you can elevate the doses you can diminish the doses and uh, also as a prescription something has to be safe of course it has to work and it should be easy for the patient uh, to, to accomplish. And uh, uh, all these three factors uh, fit very well with the barbell exercises. Barbell exercises after the starting strength method are safe. They are quite easy to learn. Of course, you need a, a coach in the beginning. And what is most important is they work. It's yeah, you, 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 you get a result immediately. Cardiometabolic disease is also a big issue, of course. Uh, diabetes is, is on the rise. Um, hypertension is on the rise. Uh, cardiovascular disease, uh, stroke. Um, and you have to start somewhere. And uh, of course, you can start with uh, the prescribing medicine against hypertension, against uh, the lipids, against diabetes. Um, and you end up prescribing five, six, seven, eight pills uh, or, or different kinds of medicine. So um, you start and there's no ending. So it, you have to exist. It's unsatisfying it's uns physician. Yeah, it's and it's unsatisfying. And, yeah. and that, was, that was actually the key because 
I discovered that uh, strength training is, is, is a way out of this m misery. Physical exercise, uh, movement uh, is, is, is like, like a, a, a pill, it's like a, a, medicine. Uh, it's like a medicine, yeah? So I tell my patients who are overweight, okay, you have the decision, we can elevate your, your, your medicine or you can start doing a physical exercise. And of course, you have, if you have a patient who is, let's say, 60, 65, overweight, it doesn't make any sense to give him the advice, okay, go for, start jogging, or uh, I don't know, because it, it won't work. He's overweight, he will have uh, knee problems. Uh, so you have to find the right uh, exercise for him. And I think that uh, barbell, uh, training, strength training is, uh, is the ideal type of, of physical exercise for, for older patients, for patients with uh, medical issues. There are hardly any contraindications uh, for, for a barbell strength training. So uh, yeah, it's, it's simply a, new, a, a brand new perspective for me. And as you said it in your book, I think that barbell medicine is really, really big medicine and, and really the future. A very common uh, phenomenon that I see in my practice is that people get older and people get weaker. You, you call that sarcopenia. Sarcopenia is, is, is a big issue. It's the loss of muscle mass and of, of physical strength. And uh, for us in Europe, we don't have this problem of obesity so much as in the United States. But what we have is, is something yeah the pendulum strikes in the in, in the other way it's it's many people try to to get fit to to do something for themselves they take care about their 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 nutrition um, but what they forget or, or what happens is when they get older they simply lose strength muscle mass they go for they they jog they they go for for hiking they ride the bike but that doesn't make them stronger and so what i see i have patients who are 60 65 who in winter time when it's, it's, it's quite cold. Uh, in, in, in Bavaria, you have uh, four, five, six months of snow, of ice. So there's a, always a danger that you slip, that you break your hip. And if you're strong enough, first of all, you might not fall down. And if you fall, then uh, there's a great chance that you will not break your hip. So it's very important for when you grow older, to stay in shape, to be strong. Ivan, what are you, what are you doing here? You're, you're, you're not in Bavaria right now, are <laughs> no, you? No, uh, I discovered, hey, wait a minute. I mean, I have three, four patients every day coming to me, asking me questions like, Dr. Nanchev, what can I do? I'm getting weaker. How can I get stronger? And I always gave the same answer, okay, we'll write you physiotherapy or you go to the gym, just start doing something, uh, go for a walk, uh, whatever. So I didn't really have any concrete plan and, and it, it, uh, it was more, yeah, just, yeah, do something. Just get some exercise. Just get some exercise, <laughs> uh, get, out of, get up out of the couch and, and do something, yeah. And now I, I tell them, okay, well, um, I would know what would be best for you. The only problem is um, you would have to be either in Detroit or somewhere in Texas. Then I could exactly tell you where to go and what to do. And uh, that wasn't very satisfying for me. And so, yeah, I had uh, now, I had a week off, a week uh, of vacation, and I decided, okay, well, let's go for it. Uh, uh, I booked a flight and flew 5,000 miles from, from Germany to beautiful Detroit <laughs> to see how the experts work and how uh, this facility here, Greysteel, um, is working. And uh, I really am uh, very glad that I decided to do that. Tell us your impressions of Greysteel and please feel free to be honest. Yeah. 
uh, well, of course, nowadays you have internet and YouTube videos and channels and newsletters. So I, I knew a little bit about what was going, um, what, I, what, I, what I had to expect. And uh, well, it really is a, a very, very special place. And uh, it's a very tight uh, community. Um, I've seen a big variety of, of, of master athletes. They are not patients, they're not clients. For me, they are athletes. And um, every single one of them had his story. Every single one of them impressed me. You, had, you have uh, this 91-year-old um, athlete who started strength training, I think, one and a half or two years ago who will for sure lift 200 pounds this fall in, in deadlift. Uh, you have, uh, I've seen a um, middle-aged um, middle man with a very severe neurological disease where you have no, no medication, no cure, who has, as Sully said, uh, improved uh, fantastically, who can, who can squat, who can uh, deadlift, um, who can press. I've seen almost 70-year-old grandmothers uh, squatting their, uh, their, their body weight without any problem. Uh, yeah, it's every single one of, of, of uh, your clients, your athletes is, is something special. Did we show you a good time? Uh, I had a fantastic time and uh, yeah, it's, it, it motivates me for the future and I'm planning to, to, to start something similar on a, of course, smaller basis. But for me, it's just the beginning. It's, it's just, I'm just uh, uh, entering a new, a new uh, universe. Um, you got to do some training here yourself. Yeah, I was very glad to 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 do a training uh, and to and for the first time um, I was coached by a certified uh, starting strength coach. Uh, until now, I was coached by um, my elder son, and I think he did quite a good job. And Your son uh, <laughs> did a good job coaching. He, he I will tell him that. Ready. Yeah. So okay. that's my shout out to him. Okay, he'll be glad. As, as a trip highlight, uh, I will be able to meet, uh, hopefully we'll be able to meet um, Mark Repito at Wichita Falls Athletic Club and I'm looking really forward to that. Now, it, 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 it's true, isn't it? In Europe they have this tradition of like when men meet they'll kiss each other on the cheek. <laughs> no. right? they, they do that in Texas too. So <laughs> really? I okay. Yeah, I would encourage you to do that. Oh. Make sure you get a big kiss on each cheek. Uh, right? I, I have to check that if that's, <laughs> if, if, if that's true because I only knew that from Brezhnev and Honecker, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, I think it's just the beginning and it's, it's, for me, it's a role model how things could work out in the future. I think that start, uh, strength training, barbell training will be um, a part of rehab, of, of uh, physical exercise, of, uh, I'm dreaming of having physiotherapists not only doing yeah, the things they do today, but to get the people, to get the patients um, under the bar. And uh, I think the results uh, are magnificent. Yeah. For me, it's the first generation. If it's, if it's Ripito, if it's you, um, I think that you will... Uh, that the future will show that you will have a, a, a big influence on the, uh, yeah, on, 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 on medicine, yeah. Strength training, bubble training isn't new and that's also something which fascinates me. It's not, we, we don't have to invent the wheel as we say in Germany. Uh, I don't know if, if, you, say, here, if you say that here too, but um, I mean people have squatted, have lifted uh, objects, have picked up heavy objects since, since we are human beings. And, uh, and the great achievement of, of, of starting strength and, and of your book is simply to put that into, into words, yeah? Um, it's not something new, it's not a new invention. Right. It's simply basic human movement in addition and you just use the barbell as a possibility 
to, um, to, to to verify the prescription. Right. Yeah. It's 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 easy and yeah, it works and it's safe. So, what can we expect more? Thank you very much for talking to us today, Dr. Nash. It was a real pleasure. Thank you very. Much.